Okay, let's do Acadian Driftwood in standard tuning in the key of F. Um, there's also an, an open tuning version uh, that's I believe is on the record, but doing it live, um, especially if there's one guitar or two guitars, you may just want to do it in standard tuning. I think in the last waltz, this is probably uh, pretty close to how Robbie played it, um, but it works. It works for us. So. A uh, little opening uh, riff is going to be this little box. Okay, and that little uh, chord progression you're going to play twice, and what it was was an F, a C7 suspended fourth to a C7. And then a B flat to a G minor seventh. Now this B flat, you don't have to play it, but I, I kind of hear it in there. Um, and that's a that's a B flat here, so it's where you're where you're fretting the uh, E string on the on the sixth and the A string on the on the fifth, because you don't want to play it back here because your next chord is a G minor seven, so it's just convenient to go. Really just picking up that finger. All right, so again, that chord progression is. The war was over. Okay, we're starting into a verse. Now, a verse is going to be two loops of chords played twice. Okay, the first loop, the second loop, the first loop, and the second loop. And that's what a verse is. The first loop is going to be an F, a C6, which is kind of like you're barring a, a, a C chord here, but you're, you're, you're pressing down on this string, so you're getting all four of those strings. That's a C6. A C9, kind of a bluesy, you know, where you're barring these three. And then you're barring that, or you're fingering this and fretting here okay so that's the C ninth uh, then a B flat major seventh to an E flat major ninth kind of a haunting chord you really just play in those four strings that you're you're fretting and starting from the starting from the A string you're fretting the sixth the fifth fret the seventh fret And the uh, sixth fret, okay, and then finishing up with a G minor seventh, okay. So that first, uh, the first line is going to be, the war was over and the spirit was broken. The hills were smoking as the man withdrew. Okay. Next loop is going to be F. C, A, B flat, G minor seventh. Okay, so it's going to be. We stood on the cliffs and watched the ships slowly sinking to their rendezvous. Okay, and that's it. Then you're just going to repeat those two loops again for the second half of the verse. You know, they signed the treaty and our homes were taken. Um, which brings us to the chorus. So the chorus is going to be uh, F, B flat, G minor seventh, C. Okay, so it's kind of a, you know, a, an easy pattern to remember because you're, uh, you know... So it's Acadian driftwood, gypsy tailwind. Okay, and from here it goes G minor seventh. They call my home B flat, the land of G minor seventh snow. Okay, repeat the next the the same uh, starting four chords again. Canadian cold front moving in. You know, 
I said, I said C, but it's, it's kind of a, a, you could play a C suspended fourth. Um, but it's the same four chords that started the chorus. It's just this, the, the, the ending of it is a little bit different. Because the ending is going to go B flat, G minor seventh, F. So I'll walk through it again. It's going to be Acadian driftwood, gypsy tailwind. They call my home the land of snow. Canadian cold front moving in. What a way to ride, what a way to go. Okay, and then you're going to play two loops of the intro chords. And that's it. Then you have another verse. Then you have another chorus. Another verse, another chorus, the final verse, and the final chorus. And after that final chorus, you're just going to do an outro of the intro chords, which is uh, which are the two chords that you were kind of playing after the chorus leading into the next verse. The... pretty much it you know a lot of room for a little uh, riffs playing um, and that's it <laughs>